I can't complain, but we know it's it's a long season, so we just have to bring it each game. Well, if Maine women's basketball continues what they're doing now, there's not much America East can do to stop them. 4-0 and oh to start conference play. We've had some tough lapses on defense that we've really been focusing on. I think our defense has picked it up in those moments when we needed it to. What was seen as a struggle heading into conference is now one of their biggest strengths. 63 opponent points per game has turned into just 48. We're just trying to make uh, our opponents uncomfortable, take them out of what they like to do and, and try and, and have them do other things. We knew that our defense last year wasn't good and we had to be better in order to get to the end goal. Just as big is the duo of Ann Simon and Adriana Smith. Between the two of them, they have seven America East Player of the Week awards this year. Sometimes it's hard when you have two great players to find rhythm with each other along with the rest of the team and I think they've done a great job with that. With Simon's injury last year, this is the first full season the two have had together and it's contributing heavy to both of their successes. Last season I figured out my role in on this team when she was injured and then she's always known her from when she was a freshman and now we're just merging together and I think it's a really good recipe for, for success. Adding to that recipe is the Black Bears ever-changing number three player on the court a scouting nightmare for their opponents. You just never know who is going to have the, the night, but you know that there's people ready to step up and do their thing. And even now, the Black Bears know that if they stay consistent, their first America East title in five years is near. We got a long way to go before that, um, but if we keep taking it one day at a time, we will hopefully put ourselves in the best position for that to happen. That's what everything has been. That's why our graduates came back. So. That's what we're working to do, and I think we can do it. In Orono, I'm Ryan Sudall, ABC7, Fox 22 Sports.